SID command. Uh, so we, we continue escalating uh, the challenge for the dog while he's still learning and uh, today you can notice he's wearing a flat color because I'll be helping him a little bit so I need to grab him to help him sit properly. Uh, I've changed my treat for today just to give the dog variety so he's not used to the same treat over and over again. I will continue rewarding and helping dog with uh, from different hands so he's not used to one particular direction I just want to make sure that he eventually straight to me and for that reason I have to do it with different hands and uh, what we focus in today is that I want him to sit very close to me when I give him the command so as we still repeating command sit and as he's getting used to the word itself um, now we kind of want to shape it more precisely because dogs tend to sit back and at the beginning of the exercise you saw that I was raising my hand and he was sitting away from me back because I wanted to shape the behavior I wanted him to understand when I say sit you have to put your butt on the ground and, and now I want to explain to him that this is how you do it but I want you at the same time to be closer to me so it's kind of a stage two of shaping the behavior and you will see how I do it today okay let's start you ready are you ready are you ready hey, uh, uh, not with that come on come on so first we're gonna repeat we're gonna start from the step that we left at the from uh, after the last exercise so first I want to see if he remembers I'll, I'll help him Sit. Good. Good boy. Come on. Sit. Good. See, since, since he remembers, um, uh, and pretty quickly, because I don't like to keep my sessions long, then I started uh, increasing the challenge for him. So now I'm going to show have the treat in my hand, but when I say sit, I'll pull him closer to me by the collar, okay? Come on. Sit. Good. Good boy. And now, every time I reward him, uh -uh, I want to make sure that I'm, my treat is right by my side, really close to me. Uh, not like when we started previously, when I was just lifting it away from me to modify his behavior. Now the treat will always be in front of me, very close. So if he's too far, he can't get the treat, okay? So changing hands. Come on. Sit. Good. Good. See, this time I didn't have to pull him. He was close enough. Hey. Try again. Come on. Sit. Sit. Good. Uh, at the beginning, when I'm shaping behavior, I kind of want to a bit exaggerate what I want from him. So I'm, I'm really pulling him close, and sometimes his chest is touching my knees, but that's okay. Come on. Nah. Sit. No. Sit. Come on. Sit. Good. Good boy. Come on. Changing hands. Oh, we have a B. Come on. Sit. Good. That's very good. Okay, let me try now without helping him that much, if he will do it. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Sit. That's far. No, I want you here. No. Sit. Good. Good boy. See, at the same time, I really want him to be straight, and I'm rewarding that when he's more or less straight. I don't want him to be too crooked because it will be difficult to fix later. Come on. Come on. Come on. Sit. Good. Good boy. Okay, let's try again. Again. What do we have? What do we have? Come on. Come on. Nah. Come on. See, he, he's, he's getting crooked towards my right hand because he's used to me feeding him from the right, so now I'm gonna try to make sure I do it from the left. Come on. Good sit. Good. Good sit. Come on. Sit. Good. Good boy. Come on. Sit. Good. And uh, the best way to teach the dog uh, to get close to you, uh, I'm rotating because I'm trying to stay in the frame, but as you saw at the end, I was just moving backwards, and that way he just steps forward one step, and then he sits again. Let's try so you guys can see how it works. Come on, sit, come on. Now, uh-uh, sit, come on, 
sit. Come on. Sit. Good. Good boy. Come on. Uh-uh. Come on. Come on. Come on. Sit. Good. Good boy. Come on. Sit. Good. Oh, yes. Come on. Come on. Sit. Good. Good boy. Oh, yes. One more time. One more time. Come on. One more time. Come on. Come on. Sit. Good. Come on. Sit. Good. Sit. Good. Yes. Yes. Good boy. Let's play. Let's play. Where's your toy? Which toy you want? Yeah. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Good boy. You did well. You did well. Good boy. Good boy. Now, when the task is a bit more challenging than just simply shaping behavior, I will have to repeat the same routine several times. I won't film, film it, but I think uh, for maybe the next three days, that's what I'm working on. Exactly the same, nothing to change. Don't make it too complicated because it's already uh, a bit of a change for the dog. He just learned the behavior. He is learning the uh, word at the same time. And for now we're pulling him closer to us. So it's a, a little bit too much. And so we have to give it time, to give the dog time to memorize the exercise and understand it fully. And remember to always reward only by your belly when the dog is really close to you. So he knows that he has to be closer, at least this way, especially if you um, training for any sports, at least this way we already have a fixed location of the front of the dog and then later on when we need to fix the rear of the dog, we'll work on that later. Uh, but also if you have a pet and you're teaching the command sit and you might think that uh, it, it, it's not uh, needed to be so complicated, uh, so close to you. I think it is because especially when you're in the, let's say, walking with your dog at the shopping mall in the crowded place and you have to tell your dog to sit. You don't want your dog to walk back and sit really far from you. You want your dog to be by your, your side, especially, for example, if you're at a restaurant and you want to make sure the dog is uh, sitting closer. So the dog will understand that the sit means closer and not really far away. And this is helpful also in everyday life. Okay, happy training.